um, on the terms of the transfer, our, both our study and the work that we're about to get presented from SEI and Brown um, make the point that we have a lot to do in the transportation sector. And one of the things we're working on is a regional effort, and I want to ask Terry Gray, the Deputy Director of DEM, just to give us a short update on that. Thank you, Director, and I will keep it, keep it very short. Um, some of you remember in the, a couple of meetings ago, I came in and gave an overview on TCI, the Transportation Climate Initiative. It's a, a regional effort to come up with a cap and invest program to try and reduce greenhouse gas emissions from the transportation sector. It's 12 states plus the District of Columbia. We've been meeting very frequently to try and, and hammer out how that a program like that would be structured and, um, and put together. Um, I'll tell you, just to echo what Janet said, I've learned a lot about the transportation sector um, through these dialogues and how important it is to get some kind of a, um, a strategy, an effective strategy in place to reduce emissions from that sector. That's gonna be so critical for us uh, meeting our state goals and meeting regional goals um, that are out there on greenhouse gas emissions. Um, next, the big update that, I have two big updates really. The, the biggest one is gonna be, there's gonna be a fairly large public announcement from the TCI regional group at the end of this month. And it's going to include four um, big points. Um, the first point is, is it'll be a release of a little bit more detailed explanation of what the regional framework that we've been working on really is. And it'll talk about the elements of that framework and how they're going to work together to, uh, to meet the goals that we've set out. It's, it's also going to have an interesting document called, a, it's, it's being framed a what we heard document. We've had three public workshops across the region um, one in Boston, one in Baltimore, and one in New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey. And we've had some very active dialogue, particularly with environmental justice communities, on some of the issues that are really going to have to be dealt with in terms of implementation of this program. And it, it's not only about greenhouse gas uh, reductions in TCI, but it's expanded out into other air pollution issues that, um, that those communities face. And, as well, they're being labeled as complementary policies. So there'll be quite a lot of work done on that in the next few months. Um, coming out of that also will be a set of equity principles on how whatever program we put together as a region will be put together fairly to benefit all our residents and all our communities. So that's gonna be a core foundation of, of the ultimate framework and the ultimate program. And finally, um, for the tech savvy, there's a little bit of a discussion, a more detailed discussion about the modeling approach that's being used. There's a lot of high-tech modeling that's going on on a, on a very wide basis to, to look at impacts and benefits from, uh, from different program scenarios that we've been working through. So that'll, those, that package will all be released at the end of the month. When that comes out, if anybody has any questions, anybody wants to talk about it, I'd be happy to, to sit down and meet with you. Um, the other thing that is a little bit on overall expectations and what our schedule is. And one of the things that's one of the things that's become clearer as we started to work on this is it a, is it, it's a very complicated effort. It's a very complex effort. So in terms of 2019, our goal by the end of this calendar year as a region is to finalize this framework for how the program would be structured. When we move into 2020, what we're going to be focusing on. Is, is the agreements between the states on how we would participate in the, pro in the program and also the mechanics of how the program would be implemented regionally. Um, and then finally in 2021, um, the, the states individually will be focused on the systems and authorities that they need in order to participate in that regional program. So it's kind of framed out as a three-year plan to make this happen, with this year being really focused on, on setting up the uh, the foundation and structure for how the program's going to look. So that's the overall update. Um, there's lots more going on. We're, we're meeting in person monthly, and we have weekly conference calls, so there's quite a bit of action. There's multiple work groups going on. So you have to take any questions. Can you just remind all of us how many states are currently engaged in there, the There are 12 states plus the uh, District of Columbia. So it's the North, all of the New England states, all the mid-Atlantic states down to Virginia, and then the District of Columbia as well. It's basically Reggie, um, but adding Virginia and Pennsylvania. 
and for those of us working on it, um, many of us worked on it, Fred G and, and uh, Jonathan was very involved in that. That is kind of the model of taking a look at a bipartisan approach to achieving emissions reductions um, that can happen more readily at that regional scope. A lot of states at the table, a lot to work through about where um, 